So first put on the lead nitrate, here's the potassium iodide. Trying to get this slightly towards the top of the slide. And now push it together with the spatula. Now we're going to try and get a thin streak of water here between the two. Using a pasta pipette, oh, it's gone down a little bit there. Look, is, uh, uh, see if I can remove that. I'm never going to recover from that, so I'm going to have to go down to this level and join them up there. And the idea is, of course, we've got a length of water along which the material can diffuse. It's uh, surface tension that bring it tends to bring it together in a droplet, but we should be able to get some kind of snaky shape. Let's just take off some oops, water at the bottom there. See my pipette spitting. Again, we just want an elongated puddle. I know we're going to have a dip at the bottom, but it still shouldn't totally ruin the experiment. Right, let's give it a go with that. So, what we want to do is push the, let's, uh, raise the slide a little bit there. Right, push the lead nitrate into one side. Here it goes. And it's starting to dissolve. And of course then, give that time to dissolve a little. And then we're going to introduce the with some of the potassium iodide, just a tiny speck, I think, at the top here on the other side. And that tends to dissolve very quickly and shoot in, there it goes. All right, let's look for evidence of diffusion and a reaction. So there we have it, the reaction between lead to nitrate and potassium iodide. Dissolving, diffusing, and then reacting to form the yellow lead iodide there.